And hello everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Guns Explained. I'm your host Cameron Porter. We're gonna have a fun episode here today by request of one of our loyal viewers. We're going to be covering the three classifications of firearm malfunctions, particularly with a semi-automatic firearm. To help us go over these, we're also gonna talk about how to clear them. And to help us do that, we're gonna have Officer Brett Paulson. He's been, he's, uh, been on the show before, he's a good friend of ours. He's gonna be joining us for that and uh, teaching us how to clear those malfunctions. Thanks for being here, officer. Hey, not a problem. All right, so these three malfunctions, what are they? So the three types of malfunctions, are you can have any of them or all of them anytime you go shooting to the range, just because each one really just varies up with the, the round you're using. Um, they all are caused by the round, mostly. Um, the first one is just going to be the lack of the, the, the bullet going off. Um, the trigger's pulled, the primer is struck with the pin, and nothing happens. What do you do after that? You know, the, there's a live round in the gun. And so how do you go ahead and clear that? The next one is we're gonna talk about stove pipe. Um, when you're ejecting the, the round you just spent or you just shot, um, it's gonna get jammed up inside the gun a little bit and it won't cause, it'll make it so the slide doesn't go forward all the way on the next round. And then the third is the uh, double feed. When two rounds are trying to go into the chamber at the same time and there's only room for one. So. <laughs> So what I have here is uh, I've got my, my firearm, and as always, when dealing with firearms, you're gonna use the three basic rules. Don't, you know, don't point at anything you don't wish to destroy. Always treat it like it's loaded. And you know, the keep your finger off the trigger, watch your backstop. So we're gonna definitely deal with two of those. We're gonna make sure that we don't point at anything and we're gonna treat it like it's loaded. For today, um, I do have some dummy rounds, which are kind of nice. They are fake rounds that look very similar. They're gonna have the same uh, shape and fill of your normal rounds. Um, with these, they're, they're not gonna go off, but it gives you that, uh, the ability to manipulate the rounds. So now that we've shown this, my gun's clear at the moment, so we're gonna go ahead and just load it up with the first one. So as it sits right now, you have, uh, I've had four rounds in the magazine and I've just loaded one into the chamber. So you're at the range, you're ready to go, you look down range and you pull the trigger and nothing happens, you get a nice solid click. So it means everything's worked except for the round. Something's happened. Either your firing pin hasn't gone forward or the primer isn't going off. Let your gun sit here for just a second. Sometimes there's a delayed reaction with the primer igniting the rest of the powder. So once again, don't point it at yourself. Don't sweep around, you know, looking at everybody else with the gun. Keep it downrange for a minute before you do anything. But you do want to look down the barrel, right? Just No, don't look barrel. down the barrel, <laughs> right? You, you don't need to know if you're doing hollow points or not. So something you can do, always to be safe, if you want to, you can drop the magazine out. At this point, you can just rack the slide back and that round will go out. You don't have to drop the magazine, you can just rack it right out and it'll be good to go. Rack it again and you're back into to battery or you're back ready to go. You now have another round inside the chamber. You've racked this one out and you can look at it later, figure out if the primer struck, if there's a little pin prick on the back, it's good. The, the, the pin works but for some reason the primer's not working. So that's the first one, as it just goes click. Really simple, pull the slide back, you're good to go. If you wanna drop the magazine out, you can do that. So the next one, we'll drop the mag out, we'll give this to Cameron for a second. Oh yeah, I got this. I'll give these two to you if you wanna put those back in the magazine. Ooh, asking me to do stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the next malfunction is gonna be that stove pipe we were talking about. And on this one, what happens, I'll grab a used case just so you can kind of see what it looks like, is when, as you've shot the, the, the firearm, and the bullet's gonna come out, you, it's gonna eject. For some reason, your slide goes forward quicker than it can eject the shell. Usually it's called, you know, done by limp wristing, you get problems with your, your recoil spring, a few different factors, but this is what it looks like. So in this situation, all you really have to do is as you're looking at it, it's very noticeable when you're looking down your sights, is just pull the slide back. It'll just pop right out. You can let the slide go. It'll rack your next round up inside the gun and you're ready to fire again. Um, I've had this happen a couple of times, just if there's not enough powder, power in the, the round itself to get the slide all the way back. It's, um, 
the spring in a slide is a little bit too strong for that round. It won't put it all the way back. Hmm. I've taken some people shooting and they're not holding the gun very tight and it kind of jumps around a little bit more and it makes it so the uh, slide doesn't come all the way back. So all of these kind of little factors will add up to this malfunction. But once again, very easy to clear and get right back on track. And then that third one, we'll take that magazine back. That third one we were talking about is a double feed. And a double feed is actually, we'll take one round out real quick, is when you haven't ejected the round at all and it's trying to load in two rounds. So right here, if you'll look inside, I don't know how close your camera can get, but you'll see the top of your magazine always has the one round in it. And then you'll see the barrel and you'll see the ramp going up into the barrel. And what will happen is you'll have one round still in the barrel itself, stuck inside. And then as your slide releases, it tries to bring up that next round from the magazine and jumps it up into the barrel like it's supposed to. But for some reason, you still have that other round in there. So now it's stuck and you can pull back on the slide all you want but it's not gonna eject anything because it can't grab the one in the barrel to bring back. And this one now is stuck in line. So on something like this to clear it, is you'll lock the slide back into place. You'll drop the magazine out. And then by tilting it back, you can have that round just slide out like this one did. And oh, so now okay. it's on the ground there. Yeah. On this, this particular time, um, that round that was still trying to get in, that second round, he stayed in the magazine. You can just put him back into place and you'll pull this one out. So in this, in this kind of a, a malfunction, this is already a spent round or for some reason it tried to load two at once? Um, I believe it's gonna be a spent round is okay. normally the case. Um, you really aren't gonna have a problem trying to load two at once because it's going back up, it only has room to grab one. Oh, okay. Um, that makes sense. But in my experience, it's been the used round. The used round. Yep. So it's just the casing that's stuck in there for whatever reason. The um, the ejector. I'm blanking on the term, but uh, the little piece that grabs onto the back of the case and pulls it out and ejects it out. Oh, okay. Um, just didn't grab it for whatever reason. It got loose. It slipped. Um, and that's usually okay. what causes that. All right. So malfunctions generally aren't things that you need to be afraid of. No. And they're, they're, they're not, your gun's not going to just suddenly explode because it didn't fire. No, it's not going to explode. Um, just as long as you're always making sure you're saying those, those same safety rules. The whole time we were talking, it was face to face. I had my gun pointed away. Keep it pointed away. You don't know what that round is doing, especially on that first one. Um, but as long as you keep it pointed away and you start manipulating the slide, the magazine in a safe manner, you should be fine. There's not going to be an issue that way. Okay. Well, gosh, that was a... That was a lot of information all at once, and it was awesome. Thank you so much, yep, not a Officer Paulson, for being here. Uh, thank you so much for watching and every week tuning in to our unique little web series we got going on. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters for helping make Guns Explained continue to be possible. And uh, let us know in the comments any questions that you have, and uh, we'll make sure that uh, we get an expert on them. We won't respond to them because we're idiots. But uh, we, got, we know a lot of smart people, so we'll get them on it. Thanks again, and we'll see you next week. That episode rocked! If you want to rock too, like our Facebook page and subscribe on Patreon to help support more episodes. Have a good day. And we're out. Yeah.